Let's take this across to our reporters on the ground. We're expecting the verdict to come in at about 11 this morning. Brijesh Doshi is joining us live from Ahmedabad. We have Anisha Mathur, our legal correspondent, joining us live from the national capital. Good morning to both of you. Brijesh, I'd like to begin with you. At 11 a.m. is when the verdict is expected. What's happening at the Gujarat High Court? Is Rahul Gandhi expected there? Uh, see, right now, as per the sources from the uh, Congress, uh, Rahul Gandhi won't be appearing uh, here, but uh, Congress has asked their workers uh, to gather outside the High Court. Even uh, the PCC chief, uh, Mr. Saktisi Goel, who is a Rajya Sabha MP, uh, uh, he will also be uh, there in the court. Um, all the uh, leaders, top leaders of the Gujarat Congress will uh, reach to the court around 11, uh, 11 o'clock. So, uh, they have uh, given the... Uh, time to uh, workers also that they ha they should gather outside the uh, Gujarat High Court to uh, give the solidarity with Rahul Gandhi. Uh, but Rahul Gandhi is not uh, re uh, uh, coming here right now. Uh, the main uh, uh, the judgment part will come around 11 o'clock uh, if the matter will be taken first uh, priority basis. Otherwise, it will uh, come by noon or after the lunch hours as well. Uh, there are okay. the uh, uh, possibilities of both the, uh, both the things that it may come uh, around after the lunch hours as well. All right. Uh, Brijesh, just stay with me. Let's understand what really this kind of a verdict means for Rahul Gandhi. Anisha Mathur is joining us live from Delhi. Anisha, the Gujarat High Court essentially will decide on Rahul Gandhi's review petition against his conviction. What does that mean as far as his disqualification is concerned, Anisha? If there's a stay on the conviction, will that automatically mean a reversing of the disqualification? Well, Akshita, let's break it down into what it means politically and legally. Legally, of course, Rahul Gandhi has gone to the High Court to seek a stay on his conviction and a suspension mm. of his sentence, which is something that the trial court and the sessions court did not agree to give to him because according to them, there was no reason to grant any relief at this stage. Rahul Gandhi, of course, has said that this was a political speech, that there was no intention, first of all, to malign any person. And secondly, his argument has been that legally, a community per se cannot be defamed by pointing out certain members of it. Now, when it comes to what the High Court may or may not do, it is going to be a huge uh, development politically for Rahul Gandhi, whether or not he gets any relief from the High Court. If he does not uh, get any relief, of course, it is going to be a big uh, problem for him because there is a monsoon session coming up. As long as he does not get a suspension of his sentence, as long as he does not get a stay on his conviction, his disqualification does stand. If he does get a stay on his conviction, if he does get a stay a suspension of his sentence, which is what he is hoping for, then his disqualification is uh, set aside till such time as the appeal itself is heard. So that will be a long process that will take several years and that may or may not affect him. Finally, uh, that will depend on the outcome of the case. Politically, however, if he does not get relief from the High Court today, of course, he does have the right to go to the Supreme Court in appeal against the High Court verdict, but it will be a problem for the Congress and for Rahul Gandhi, and it will be a big boost for the BJP's campaign, as it, uh, particularly since the 2024 elections are what everybody is focusing on. It will also uh, be an issue considering that he will not be able to attend the monsoon session uh, at all. Uh, if he does get relief, of course, it is going to be a big boost to the Congress. The Rahul Gandhi can then come out and say that, uh, that see, the allegations against me were completely false. Uh, that then he will be able to fully participate. He will be able to uh, 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 stand for the election, uh, the, the upcoming elections as well. So a lot depends on today's verdict and what Rahul Gandhi's next move is going to be, both legally and politically. Back to All you. right. Uh, Anisha, thank you for explaining that to us.